Hello, my name is Rochak Karki and I am a Security Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, I am going to cover three threat detections for Amazon God Duty. If you are not familiar, God Duty is a security monitoring service that analyzes and processes data sources such as AWS CloudTrail event logs, S3 data plane events, EKS control plane logs and runtime activity, DNS logs, and VPC flow logs for profiling and anomaly detection. DNS security in cloud environments is of high importance as increasingly more organizations rely on cloud services for their infrastructure. One key reason is that DNS is the foundation of internet communication and if compromised, it can have cascading effects on cloud applications, data, and services. So, ensuring DNS security in the cloud safeguards the availability and integrity of critical resources. It also protects against common DNS attacks. Like DNS hijacking, where attackers manipulate DNS records to reroute cloud traffic to malicious servers, leading to data breaches and service disruptions. Distributed denial of service DDoS attacks that can overwhelm DNS servers, causing downtime and impacting cloud-based applications. DNS tunneling attacks enable data exfiltration and malware communication by hiding malicious traffic within DNS queries, making them difficult to detect. Additionally, DNS cache poisoning and domain squatting are also relevant, compromising data integrity and potentially leading to the theft of sensitive information. These threat detections, also known as finding types, were added to alert customers of suspicious DNS traffic, which may indicate potential attempts from bad actors to evade detection when performing activities like exfiltrating data or using command and control servers to communicate with malware. They are Defense Evasion EC2 Unusual DNS Resolver, Defense Evasion EC2 Unusual DOH Activity, and Defense Evasion EC2 Unusual DOT Activity. God Duty learns the expected DNS traffic patterns for the AWS environment to only alert when the activity is suspicious and indicative of potential malicious activity. All three threat detections have a default severity level of medium. Now, let's briefly dive into each threat detection and its specific finding. Defense Evasion EC2 Unusual DNS Resolver is when an Amazon EC2 instance is communicating with an unusual public DNS resolver that it has no previous history of querying or communicating with, indicating the instance may be compromised. Defense Evasion EC2 Unusual DOJ Activity When an Amazon EC2 instance is performing an unusual DNS over HTTPS DOH communication with a public DOH server that it has no recent history of communicating with, which may indicate the listed instance may be compromised. Defense Evasion EC2 Unusual DOT Activity when an Amazon EC2 instance is performing an unusual DNS over TLS DOT communication with a public DOT server that it also has no recent history with, which, just like the previously mentioned detections, may indicate the listed EC2 instance may be compromised. Now that we have covered a brief overview of these three detections or finding types, Let's hop into the God Duty console and take a closer look at them in action. Let's move on to AWS console and let's search for God Duty as a service. Once we go into the God Duty console, we have a findings tabs on the left. Let's click on it. And here we can search by finding type. In our case, we can search for a specific defensive agent EC2 unusual uh, finding types 
or we can click on this finding type and it will show us the various finding type in alphabetical order. So in this case, we're looking for the defense evasion EC2 on usual DNS resolver. Let's click on it. As mentioned before, this threat detection indicates an Amazon EC2 instance in your environment is communicating with an unusual public DNS resolver. Uh, the finding details panel provides the critical information we need to help identify compromised EC2 instances within our environment. Let's take a look at a few of these sections. Under overview section, we can view the severity, location, quantity of instances, the account ID where the instance resides, and even as far as its resource ID, creation date, and when it was last updated. Under the instance details section, we can view more information about affected instance itself, such as instance ID, instance type, which availability zone it's in, when it was launched, and some information about the AMI. As we scroll down, we can view additional sections for the IAM instance profile. Instance tags, uh, network interfaces, private IP addresses, security groups, and even the target IP address and port location and the organization information. Again, this could all be critical information when it comes to isolating and remediating a compromised EC2 instance in our environment. Uh, same way, uh, we can select the other two defensive evasion EC2, unusual DOH activity or unusual DOT activity. It will provide you the similar results as well. If you click on it, it will provide you the information of what this finding is about. And again, it goes back to the overview, all the resource affected, instance details, and instance profile, instance tags, network interfaces, private IP addresses, security groups, target locations, and all the necessary critical things that is needed for you to investigate and further isolate the EC2 instance in needed. So now that we have learned what these findings are, how to navigate to them, and lastly, what they're indicating. Some other things to note here is with the guard duty, you do have in native integration capabilities with other services like Event Bridge, Security Hub, and the ability to collect these findings in S3 for further analysis. So whether you want to integrate with automation or a ticketing solution, you are covered. And with that being said, this concludes today's video on the detections that were added to guard duty to detect and alert customers of suspicious DNS traffic. To learn more, please see the Amazon guard duty documentation linked in the description. Happy cloud computing.